As I hopped onto the Amsterdam tram, I couldn't help but feel excited about the adventure that lay ahead. The tram has been around since 1875 and is a charming way to explore the city. It crosses over 1500 bridges and often makes sharp turns which add to the thrill of the ride. As I was heading south, I realized that I was ironically moving in the same direction as the airport, which was the last place I wanted to be. But I shrugged off the thought and continued exploring. There's just something about exploring without a direction that sets my soul on fire. This is also another reason I love solo travel. I can go wherever I please without a care in the world. As I got off the tram, I found myself in a small European town that felt worlds away from the hustle and bustle of central Amsterdam. The real people living their normal lives here made it feel like an authentic experience, not the fake tourist life that downtown Amsterdam often offers. Following a map, I eventually stumbled upon a beautiful water body, which was a serene oasis in the midst of my adventure. I couldn't help but feel grateful for the peace it brought me. I'm literally the only one here. No vendors, no tourists. Well, one tourist, this guy. As I made my way back to Amsterdam Central Station to meet my friend Elijah, I felt content with the day's wanderings. We shared a delicious lunch before I headed to the airport. Or so I thought. I was still blissfully unaware of the mistake that I was about to make. So I literally went back to Amsterdam Central Station and spent three hours at a cafe before making my way back to the airport. But that was probably a big mistake considering I'm going to Abu Dhabi next. Come back tomorrow to see why.